better than having one Godzilla with blue dorsal plates? Two Godzilla with blue dorsal plates. Ooh, yeah. guys back with another fresh final review and today we're going to be looking at the x plus yuji sakai modern collection toho 37 mini series godzilla 2001 from gmk damn did you guys get all that x plus toho 30 centimeter series yuji sakai godzilla 2001 from gmk it's a long freaking name isn't it okay so let's get right into this figure came out in mid-february 2016 I want to blow your minds real quick. You guys may have already know this, but I was in Japan in December 2015, and we were at Osaka, we were at X Plus HQ, and I was privileged, and I, I feel very privileged to say that I was at X Plus HQ, and I got to see this figure before it was even announced on the Rick Boys site. We got back from Japan, and maybe about two weeks or so after we, I got home, they announced the figure. When we saw the figure, check out the picture. It was in the workshop. It was still getting painted. It was getting finishing touches on the figure. There was two of them there. And I was just ecstatic. And the group of people, friends that I was with, we were ecstatic that we were able to see this figure before it was announced on the Rick Boy site, before anyone else was, you know, able to see it. So very, very awesome. So we knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Excited. You know, so now it's here. Now that figure is here. It's in our hands. And woo, it is beautiful. Okay. This is the Rick Boy, by the way. So let's talk about the box real quick. This is what's left of my box. I cut out the um, I cut out the box, box cover. I don't need boxes anymore. They just take up too much damn room, people. Okay, so this is what the box cover looks like. You know, the figure inside the box that has the plastic housing as normal, as we always know, whatever, whatnot. But the box, you got your basic information on the top. Toho 30 centimeter series. Yuji Sakai Monument Collection Godzilla 2001 from Godzilla Mothra, King Gitter, All Out Monster Attack. Blah, blah, blah. You got the Rick Boy sticker right there. Okay? Yuji Sakai, that's the box. Bam. Okay? So, the figure itself, it comes with a stand down here. Okay, first off, let me tell you about the stand. It's just a plastic stand, it, 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 vinyl, whatever you want to, you know, whatever it's made of. I think, it's, yeah, it's just like basically clear vinyl. Um, the 91 Godzilla has the same stand. The stands don't bother me. I don't think they take away from anything from the figure. Sure, if you're going to have them all lined up, you know, most of pretty much all the figures except this one and that one, they need stands. Big deal. That's how this is how the figure was intended to stand. You know, if you take the stand out, he leans back. Does it look that bad? No, but. Use the stand. That's what it's there for, okay? Now, paint job looks great. Up and down, top to bottom, it looks good. Tails uh, painted with nice dorsal plates and whatnot. You know, those are painted uh, mostly, you know, off-white, bone white. The dorsal plates on the back, they are translucent vinyl because, yes, this is the Rick Boy. We're going to talk about that momentarily, just a little bit like you saw in the beginning of the video. They light up blue. So those are opaque. They're transparent so light can pass through them. Most of Godzilla's tree bark-like skin is painted charcoal gray. Um, you know, I, I thought there was a little bit more highlights on the figure that we saw at X Plus HQ, but I'm not really complaining here too much. It doesn't. I think it looks fine to me. You know, as far as the rest of the skin goes, the fingernails and the toes are painted with you know with a off bone white looking color there, so those look good. The uh, the teeth is th that those have a little bit of a tint of orange there. You know, they're a little grimy, dirty looking. They're not you know pearly white. So those have a little bit of a tint of yellowish to them. Not bad, you know, nothing too distracting. I noticed someone was taking these pictures. The eyes look awesome. They're that deathly, ghostly looking pale white to them. No pupils, so those look good. Okay, so that's the paint job. The sculpting detail looks amazing. You know, there are some seams around at the knees and whatnot. Uh, I really don't care about seams anymore unless they're like extremely distractingly, horribly looking. And there is none of that here. Okay. Um, this is, you know, 
it, it seems they, they come with these figures. They are to be expected, so I expect them, and they don't bother me. Anyways, moving on, sculpt and detail. One thing I do like about the head up here is, you know, his ear canals, we're going to call them, because he doesn't have actual ears. But, you know, they're up there on, you know, that's that's what, that's how this Godzilla had these figures. His ears, I mean, not figures. I do figures. He does ears. Okay? So, the sculpting detail is really, really good. I like the dynamic of the tail. You know, it goes up, and then it dips, and then up again. So, it's lively-like. It's not, you know, just up and whatever. Okay? So, sculpting detail is good. The paint job's good. Um, it's a 30-centimeter figure. It, it, again, now remember, this was originally from a resin kit that Yuji Sakai did. I don't remember exactly when the model kit came out. But this is a made from a resin sculpt. So what happens when you have the resin sculpt transition to vinyl, we're going to lose some height, okay? So that's why, like, the 91 and the 89 in this line so far from X+, Plus, they are a little bit shorter. So this stands somewhere around 28 centimeters, okay? So it's in the middle of 30 and 25. But uh, it doesn't really bother me, you know, when you start lining up your... Yuji Sakai's here next to each other. This is the only one I have out with this one for the time being. But, you know, they're going to stand out. They're going to take, you know, they're going to ownership of that shelf. Okay? So those look good together. Um, you know, while we're talking about the line, you know, I was going to save this. I'll save it for the end. I'll save it for the end. So we talked about paint job, sculpt box, all that good stuff. The figure's beautiful, people. It really is. I, I really... Now let's see. We have the gigantic series GMK. We have a 25 centimeter GMK. We have another 30 GMK. So, so this is the fourth... GMK Godzilla in the X Plus lineup, okay? So this is number four. Um, it's, it's like we get overloaded with GMK here. I'm not personally complaining because I have, you know, it's X Plus. I do X Plus, you know. But this year alone, we're going to have a NECA GMK, an SH Monster Arts GMK, and now we have another GMK. So awesome. There are plenty of options for everyone. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, shake your heads. Yes, yes it is. Because I don't want to hear anybody pissing and moaning. I can't afford the X Plus. I gotta get the NECA. Well, at least you're able to afford something and get one of these amazing representations of the GMK Godzilla, right? Shake your heads. Right. Stop bitching and complaining, people. Tired of hearing it. Okay, so so what's my favorite Yuji Sakai? I'm going to tell you right now, the, the, the least favorite, it's not here on my shelves. It's packed away. I don't like the 89 as much as I like these two. What do I mean by these two? This one here. So we'll do a little size comparison while we're at it. So let's see. This one. All right. He's supposed to be on his, on his stand there. Yeah, the GMK stands a little bit taller. That's okay. But, you know, whatever. These are them side by side. Wow. They're both so different, but I'm gonna, right, right off the bat, I like the 91 better. And that takes away nothing really from the GMK here because this figure is just beautiful, okay? So I give Yuji Sakai, these are both amazing figures. They look beautiful, okay? But I like the 90, I like the 91 a little bit better. Sorry for the audio. Okay? So, Rick Boy. Let's talk about the Rick Boy. As you saw in the beginning of the video, the Rick Boy is the blue light-up dorsal plates, okay? So, we want to see the blue light-up dorsal plates now, don't we? So, mind you, like the uh, the 91, the 89, uh, the 95 here, it comes with a little plug on the back of the cap that you got to pull off of skin. We all know what it looks like. See? You just take your finger here. You just pick it off like a scab. You need to take your battery pack that requires triple A's, plug it into his calf, get it in, and then, oh, oh, ooh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. I love blue. You know what? That is awesome. All the dorsal plates light up blue, all three rows here. Those are beautiful. Okay, so let's get the lights back. Oh, you, oh, you want to look at it a little bit longer? Okay, he'll just have a moment of stare. <gasps> oh. Wow. Okay. Okay, we had our moment of stare. So let me tell you something real quick about the Rick Boy here. You know, the 30 centimeter Godzilla 64 was the second technically blue light up dorsal plates. I'm sorry, like G62 25 centimeter, you didn't really look that great to me. The sculpt was kind of meh, but when this guy came out right here, you know, blew my socks off. And I'm like, I'm so glad I ordered him. Yes! 
But for the remainder, with the exception of the 95 Godzilla over here, all the other Godzillas with the light-up feature, the 68, the 62, the 2003, the 89, the 91... Am I missing any? I think I think that was uh, all of them that lit up. They were all white-ish dorsal plates, okay? They were white. You know, and then we X-plus collectors, oh, man, I hope they make one blue. Make one blue. I hope they're blue, blue, blue. Blue looks awesome. Yes, it does. This guy right here. It made me more glad I had this guy right here because he's still the only one that was blue. So when X-plus announced this, they didn't tell us what color the dorsal plates were going to be. We didn't know until it came out. So how are you going to know? Well, you just you just didn't. You just had to take a gamble. You're going to go like, oh, am I going to go with a Rick? Yeah, you know me, I'm always going to go Rick. Because you know why? Because I say Rick it. Bam. Okay, so everybody was probably thinking they were going to be either white or they're going to have problems or whatnot. So lo and behold, the figure comes out and it's got blue dorsal plates. And... Within, what, a week's time? You know, every, I've heard numerous collectors say, Oh, I should have went Rick. Oh, I should have did this. I should have pre-ordered the Rick. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'll sell my stand to get the Rick. Look, when in doubt, Rick it. Okay? Rick it. Because when I first saw those pictures from one of those groups in Japan and Thailand, you know, BAM! I just, yes! Yes! <sighs> it's like blue. It's awesome. Something about blue. Just blue. I'm blue. I boo I boo No, sorry. woo Okay? So... That's the Rick. It looks awesome. I love it. And that is my review. What is next after this? Okay, we're going to start doing some Ultraman reviews. As you can see, I've got an overload of Ultraman figures here. And then after that, you know, in a few months, we're going to have the... Oh, what? Next month, March, we're going to have the X Plus G54 with the train in the mouth. And that's going to look awesome. Okay, so that's it. I will check you guys later. Check out Instagram, Twitter, Vine, Mr. Fresh Vinyl. Hit me up on Facebook. Make sure you check out FreshVinylHQ.com. And I will talk to you when I talk to you. And remember, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl. Bam!